Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Oh god, I don't like you. I think. Yeah, you bother me. I want to go home. You're so... you talk so slow. Are you living alone at the moment? I live on my own, and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? But I'm gonna go with the toilet, doesn't everyone? I go to the toilet. Doesn't everyone? Fair enough. What is the next thing you do then? Oh, I don't know. I just muddle through, I guess. Don't think there's any routine to it. It depends how I feel that day. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Yeah. I... Yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. Woof. It makes me feel more like a failure if I don't see it. Woof. It doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? I think that's reasonable. It's something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression, or some other form of counseling? No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first. And then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? Mm. I feel like she would sleep well because she just... I don't know. That's what I just feel. Just because she doesn't want to deal with life? I'm gonna go with like a... Rarely. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Exactly. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I would say fine. I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Not really sure how yet, but I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Mm -hmm. No, not really. 
Do you drink alcohol, Susan? She doesn't seem like an alcohol no. drinker. That's good. Alcohol is a powerful depressant. I never really liked drinking. Excellent. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Well, I used to think about it sometimes. Don't you think about it when you're really down? Susan, I'm a psychiatrist. My job is to talk people out of it. <laughs> Would you ask a fireman if he ever thinks about setting fire to his house? I suppose not. But I'm sure lots of people have times when they do think about it. I couldn't say, yeah. Susan. The statistics show that men are three times more likely than women to commit suicide. That puts you in the minority. But of course, that's missing the point. Suicide is never a solution. There's always a way of solving whatever problem you might have. Not always. Please, in your own words, try For to For all you know, like, my family member could have died. And I can't get them back. Not saying suicide's a good thing. No, 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 no. Just saying, in that point of view. I guess he says why I did it? It was just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. I had a really rotten day, you know? I felt like I was suffocating between the four walls of my bedroom. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Sometimes, when I feel really low, I just, I used to think everyone would be happier without me, but I guess people don't really care. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? How's it, cat? My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? Hi, unnamed player. It's hard to say. I would say that. It could be anything. Yeah. Sometimes it could be just little things. The way my hair looks. Shoes I can't find. When I run out of milk. I get angry with myself for being clumsy, for not being able to cheer up and just get on with things, like everyone else. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? I don't know. There's nothing to talk about. Hmm. 
Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward, I guess I could finally do stuff soon. Went to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke oh. me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first oh. night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Interesting. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Hurry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Turn back, Susan. I know another way. Turn left here. What's we going on? Go to. Call it. Ha. Enter. Elevators. <laughs> Where are we? What I can see looks like we're on a roof. What are we doing on the roof? We are on the roof. Liz. Liz. Lizzie. Lizzie. Lizzie Pooh. What the hell are you doing? Liz. Blood on your clothes. Where the fuck Liz, does that blood come from? It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. I'm pretty sure it will hurt. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides... I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You do. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? you told me that story. Maybe I didn't. Or maybe you just didn't pay attention like everyone else. I paid attention! Okay, I can prove to you that I listened. Just don't jump. 
please. You can prove it? Fine. I'll give you a second chance. Did I tell you about my flatmate? Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? Yeah. If you really listened, you will remember this one. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell Valentine's you? Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. You've got this one right. But it's not enough. Don't feel responsible. You didn't cause me this pain. This suffering. We can be friends! I have to do this to be No, free. you don't! Jump with me, Susan. Do it while you still can. No! No! It was... It... Uh. She seemed like such a nice girl as well! We could have been friends! Just give it another day for us to actually get to know each other! My god! After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. Maybe Liz was never there? Are you sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked? I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes. You're a your parasite, aren't you? You're a clever girl, Susan. But the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Well then! So I was right! The reason why he smells great is because Liz like he smells great is because he smells of dead bodies! I was right, I was just joking! Eyes. Who, who are you? I am the girl, of course. I will get you out of here unless you don't want to think. No, I thought so. There are two doors leading out of this place. One of them will simply take 
Where are those doors? I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I knew it was just a kind of mistake. Is like the crow my guardian devil or something? Oh, 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 oh. Dolls. Okay. That'll teach you to stop staring, you horrible, ugly doll. <laughs> I hate dolls. I hate dolls so much. I guess I'll ask you. Should I not enter? Oh, my God. I guess I have to blow out another candle. Well, I killed another person. An unnamed is playing rust. Thank you, unnamed. Oh, God. I chose the wrong door, didn't I? Oh, 
god. Treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. Yes, you are. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Ha <laughs> ha. Seven. I swear that I live alone in this old two bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Is that all? I'm sorry. Mm. Another unlucky thing. I've been dead for a long time. Oh. It wasn't even long. Oh, 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 damn it! I missed all that dialogue. Pick up. Walk it in, sit in. So this one leg like, must be some new. Okay, yeah, edge of it. Okay. Enter. Whoa, okay. Oh. Okay. Use. Sablade. Am I faking it, making a freaking blood weapon? Oh my god. Yeah, while Riddler lasts forever, Dr. Miles will soon rot and fall apart. That sick man, how did he manage to hide all this madness? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna hold him. Because you can't get a hold of him. Airmine? Airmine? This is creepy though, what I said. That is just horrible though. Read? No, for a long time, one day, well. And all the evidence will get buried down under the piles of rubber. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. This smells like special last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. Oh, god damn it. That's, um. And yeah, here she is stuck in a metal rod looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. God damn it. What happened then? Was it just a jam? Am I really going crazy? Or was she really there? Just already dead? It's empty, okay. I, I, uh, let's have, uh, find some peace and death. I feel so bad. Oh, poor Liz. That fucking doctor's going down. Oh. Oh. Oh god. I like this before the living painting. Yes, here is a dead body. You can pay players and try to the chair. The fuck is that screaming coming from? Oh god. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. He is.
I'm the poor victim of the mad doctor saying shiny in one of her fingers. The ring Painting. She is like a used wire to keep her. What scares me the most is I'm scared that he's gonna find me. Take it. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch! Scream your lungs out! Louder, I said! Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a- Oh my god. And then no one knows what this place. Where yeah, I need body, an instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. Can I make a weapon yet? There has to be something. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you to die. I just gotta find something to get that freaking knot. Nut, not knit, knit. Yeah. Mm. Right up here. A bolt. No, I just need that nut, right? Yeah. Use. Yeah, okay, I need to find... I need that bolt. Can I take that, please? Something? Oh! Oh, the soap! There we go! Why do I need the baby doll head? Use. What is this used for then? Oh. <laughs> 
So I have two weapons! Okay. Turn the room. What's up, Doc? I am so anti-dramatic when healing. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna free this poor woman now. Untie you. Poor woman, girl, thing, whoever you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. He would have. He would have killed me. Like the others. The animal. You, you gave him what he deserved. Elite, I saved her. They call me the cat lady. Like. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. Yeah! Chapter 3. River. Standing by the river, I wonder. Do I need a stone? No. My heart is heavy enough. It will drag me down for sure. He's supposed to wash off the horrible memories of his night. And then in for a shower, something to eat, some coffee, a cigarette. I love to see my cats do. Just, let's just pretend for a moment that everything is back to normal. I survived after all. Maybe now I can try to enjoy a little things in life. Okay, yeah. I can do this one step at a time. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm ending here, and I guess I will see you guys next time. I don't know how many parts this is or how many episodes or whatever, but yeah, goodbye, guys.